All right, how you doing? Today I'm just going to have a look at this small winch I recently bought. It's a 12 volt, 3,000 pound uh, winch. This model is a Rhino, and I got it off Amazon. It was about 120 quid on Amazon with the synthetic rope option, not the cable. So I'll just have it set up on the bench here. Give you a look. Give you a look at it. Comes with two remote controls. Um, this is the uh, wireless control box. It also comes with a. It also comes with a trigger here, basically on off, that can be mounted on a handlebar, for instance, if you're using it on an ATV vehicle or something, on and off. There's about, there must be a couple of meters of cable there. And then it's just a connection. There's a little bracket there to mount it onto your handlebars or whatever you are using it on. Quad, for instance. Out and in. Very straightforward. But I don't have a use for that. So I'll just be using the remote control with it so it's very straightforward to use just power up the, uh, the little remote control there and we'll feed it out So as you can see, there's a like a nylon protective shroud around the first meter and a half, and then you can see the the um, Dacron cable or whatever it is, soft, much easier and safer to use than steel cable. You can see it loaded on the drum there, very neat. So yeah. You can disengage the gearbox here and manually pull it out or wind it in and then re-engage it. Good solid feel to it. That's her locking in there. And now we'll take her in. That's it. I'll be using the winch to drag a trailer up the drive. It's easier to position it with the winch than try to manhandle it into the drive. And I can also mount it on the boat trailer if I ever wanted to uh, winch the boat onto the trailer. It's another option for me. So yeah, it's well built. It's a good quali quality unit. I believe all the windings are copper on the motor, unlike some cheaper options which use aluminium. So, first impressions are all good. I winched a couple of things around with this, and it's just handled it with ease. So yeah, if you're in the market for a £3,000 winch, I don't think you could go much wrong with this one. Alright folks, that's it. Cheers.